Hello, students. Today we are going to be going over 1.8. This is on page 27 in your packet. I can write equations for exponential situations from tables, graphs, and story problems, giving answers in context. So, number one, there's an example of Sarah being offered two jobs. Um, I'm going to let you go over this in class, and I'm going to jump to the situations that you actually have to do. But you can go over this, and it kind of just says how much Sarah's going to be paid after graduating college, company A or B, and the factor and the rates, and you can go over those there. I'm going to go straight to page 28 now. If you want to stop the video and go over that, that's fine. Now we are going to compare these exponential equations. Number three, the situation represents the balance on a loan. Which loan is being paid at a higher percentage? Situation A, $25,000 was borrowed, and they're going to pay 10% back per year. Is that a growth or is it a decay? It's a decay because the loan value is going to be going down every year, so it's a decay. What is our factor? Well, we could start with our rate because that goes at 10%. And remember, if it's DK, it's 1 minus your rate. So 1 minus 10%, we change 10% to a decimal. 1 minus 0 0.1, and our factor is 0 0.9. Okay, situation B, someone borrowed $10,000, and it's 0.85, okay? So what percent is it being, uh, what's the rate, and what's the factor? Well, our factor's already in decimal form, so we can go 0 0.85. Now to figure out the rate, we go 1 minus the factor. Can you see that on the video? 1 minus 0 0.85. If you do that on, on the calculator, you get 0.15. Move that over two places, and it's 15%. Okay. And then you're done with number three. Okay. I'm going to have you do four on your own, and I'm going to jump to number five. Okay. The situation. Oh. We didn't put back here a number three, which loan is being paid at a higher percentage. That would be situation B. Because it has 15%, this one has 10%. Okay, so number five, it represents the balance on the loan, which loan is being paid at a higher percentage. So zero, 150, and this is in thousands of dollars, okay? So we make sure this is going by one, and we can just use the first one, zero to one. If this is by one, then we can take our second one and say 135 divided by 150. And we use our handy dandy calculator. 135 divided by 150, and we get 0 0.9. Then we go ahead and put that as our factor. Oh, is it a, a growth or decay? Well, as the years are going up, the numbers are going down, so it's got to be a decay. So for our rate, it's 1 minus the factor. And then we have to make sure it's going to be in percent. So 1 minus 0 
0 0.1, change it to a percent, two places over, and your answer is going to be 10%. Now we look at situation B. Over here we have 0, 300, and then 1, 240. This is in thousands of dollars. So we, we can make our table 0, 300, and 1, 240. And being it's only 1 there, that means we can divide that. So we take our second number, 240, and we divide it by our first number, 300. So if we take 240 divided by 300, and your answer is 0 0.8. So our factor is 0 0.8. Now to get our rate, we do 1 minus the factor. Oh, um, and we need to make sure is it growth or decay? Has to be decay because over time it's going down. So 1 minus 0 0.8, 0 0.2, and then we have to take that, move it over two decimal places to get our rate. So our rate is going to be 20%. Okay. Your homework will be in your white packet. You'll have to do number four in the pink packet or the green packet, whichever color you have. And then there will be homework in the white packet. You can do this, students. You rock.